Welcome to Christian Info Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode we'll be looking at making a new page uh, in WordPress. So the first thing you want to get into your WordPress uh, admin account and then probably enter via the dashboard from here. You find all the tools on the left hand side. You might find them collapsed uh, like that so uh, there will be smaller icons with pop outs but I will keep them bigger uh, for this exercise because it becomes uh, easier for you to see. So the first thing, if you want to add a new page, uh, we want to go to Add New Page. And then the first thing you want to do is to give it a title. So the title we'll give it is My New Page. And then we can click below and we can add content uh, to this. So, uh, so I'll put New Page Content. Now what we can do is, this is a standard word processor kind of setup, so I can highlight the text, I can make it bold, I can make it italic, and uh, all the other things I'd expect from a word processor, range left, centered, right, so I can make a nice page layout uh, from it. If I click on this uh, tool, it gives me some more uh, options, so I can highlight the text, and I can choose HTML setup, so if I want it in heading 1, or I want it in heading 2, uh, I can change it from there. Uh, but I'll keep this uh, in paragraph format here. Uh, and I can change the colour uh, of the text. If I wanted to highlight it, I can just click on the colour that I want it, uh, and so on. So all the basic things you'd expect uh, from a word processor. I can, if I click on the HTML tag, I can then look at the HTML I've used to create it, uh, and I can import by copying and pasting HTML pages into this page layout if you're good on HTML and you've got some standard uh, tags here that you can use uh, to add to it uh, if it helps. But not to worry, if you don't know HTML, you can see my get going guides on HTML um, if you need some advice on that at christianforco.uk um, to help you through that section. Now the other thing you might need to need to do is to add a picture to your page and to do that you click upload insert which is basically like putting an attachment on your email and so we just go there. I can drag and drop from the desktop uh, onto this section or I can click on select files and I'm going to just upload this little button uh, here and if I scroll down this window it will come up to uh, this window here where I can give the title uh, to the actual image. I then need to type in the alt text. Alt text is very important because it conforms to disability guidelines on the web web, and uh, search engines look for it and it makes your site more valid. So I'm just going to call it film. I can have a caption for it uh, and I can put some information uh, for it if I like. Uh, so, and so on. If you want the button to be linked, so you want not just an image, but you want it to go to, uh, click on it and it will go to another site, uh, you can put in the URL of where you want it to go to uh, there. So I will just have it send to my uh, basic website. If you don't want a URL, you don't want it to be clicked, you just want it to be, look nice on a picture, uh, remove all the information uh, on that page. And then of course you can have different alignments uh, for it uh, and you can change the sizes uh, of it uh, as well. And I just click to insert it uh, into the post. And there it is, it's appeared there. Now once you're happy with your page, you've done all the layout exactly what you want to do, uh, you just click publish which will save your file, uh, like so. And then we can go back and view what we've got on the site and you will find that uh, on your site it will now appear in the title bar. We deal with how to manage these to make menu systems uh, in another tutorial but if you click on your page uh, you can then scroll down and there you can see you've got a new page. On your thing you can people can come in and they can write comments uh, for it. So write a comment, post that and then you've got comments viewable through there. So anyone can come onto your site and make comments. You can turn these features off if you like, uh, but uh, they come on uh, by default. Now, as an admin, we're looking at your site from what the public see. 
but as an admin you also have the option to edit live so you can do this on your phone or on your pad uh, while you're out and about uh, and you will see this edit tag appear where you can change it and you just click edit and you'll go back into the editing screen and you can change it any content from there live on the net while you're uh, working on it so if you're a reporter you can just add uh, more information another way to do it if we click on all pages in the page tab you can see all the pages that we've got here at the moment and you can see as I roll over these features appear so if I don't want this page anymore I can just trash it I can have a preview of it if I want to edit it I can just go edit and again it will go back to this editing page so I've of that and I just update the file over here and the page will be done and now if I go back to view the site again I go there and the text will have changed automatically to what I wanted it to do so create a new page is very simple uh, the important thing to remember is to make it look good uh, make the information accessible and put uh, pictures on it to uh, complement it uh, and you can add and change it anytime you like on any computer that's connected to the internet where you can view this site. So that's it for making new pages. We'll look at menu management uh, later on. Uh, find me at www.chrislinfordco.uk or you can find me on iTunes or on YouTube and I'll see you for another episode.